and welcome to Wednesday's Tarot. My name is Brooke and this is the first segment of Wednesday's Tarot beginning May 28th. It's a new moon in Gemini, so I thought it would be appropriate to start Wednesday's Tarot on a Wednesday and a new moon. And this is for the week May 28th to June 4th. I'm a Pisces. Pisces. Hi, Pisces. I've been reading the cards for 21 years. And I normally read for friends and family, but I was so inspired for all the wonderful card readers on YouTube that I thought I'd share my gift with the world. So Pisces, this is for you. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. Dreamy, watery, sensitive Pisces. Very imaginative, and most importantly, very intuitive. You know what I'm talking about. You have psychic abilities, and if, even if you don't think you have them, Pisces, or you haven't tapped into them, you have them. You're one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiac. A lot of ancient prophets, a lot of writers, philosophers, if I can say that word, are Pisces, or were Pisces. And that's something to be said, to have intuition and to trust your intuition. Sometimes people get afraid of their intuition, but you gotta trust your, your gut instincts. I know that for a fact. So let's see what's happening for Pisces for the week, for seven days. It's been fascinating so far, so let's go. Mmm. Major Arcana card. It's a card of fertility. It's a card of abundance. Earth Mother, the Empress. And she's all about mother energy. Fertility. Abundance. Picture a, a mother with all of her children surrounding her. And she's secure and satisfied in her position and that's a major arcana card and major arcana cards are normally for a whole month so that's a good positive card not only for the next seven days but that sets the tone for the next month so that's pretty good she's a card of fertility normally associated with childbirth or marriage but also of abundance and of wealth and of security. So she's like the earth mother of the tarot card deck. You might get an opportunity to go into business or to start your own business, Pisces. You might be thinking about starting your own business. You will have a opportunities that may not seem like there's much at first, but it's gonna blossom into something if this hasn't already, it may start now, within the next week. It's going to be a swift opportunity. It's going to come into your life, and then it's going to go. So grab hold of that, and it's going to be an invitation. It's going to be a proposal of some kind. You might start getting phone calls. You might um, get some leads on something. But it's going to lead. It's going to lead you somewhere. And there's a definite, and this has been for all the signs, a definite new beginning is going to emerge for Pisces. A new phase is going to happen this summer. A definite new beginning. Uh, this is the Ace of Wands. And Wands are an air card, and they're associated with energy and movement and communications and messages. So that's a renewal card. That's a very promising card. So something really wonderfully new is going to start. There may be a new romance on the horizon for any single Pisces out there. Pisces have a tendency sometimes to get a little bit pessimistic or moody. Uh, they're very romantic signs. I'm very romantic. I'm always looking uh, for that partner who's going to fulfill all my dreams. And there may be an opportunity to meet somebody. There's going to be a situation where love wants to be shared. And there may also be children coming into the picture too. So keep 
keep her out for that. Lately, you may have been feeling a little bit kind of blinded to some situations or you've put the blinders on yourself. Sometimes it's hard for Pisces to look things directly in the face because it's hard. But you've kind of been a little blindfolded to some things, either purposely to your own or you've just put the blinders on by other people. It's time to take those blinders off. You're going to have swift movement in the next week. A lot of things are moving. They're wanting to move for you. They're wanting to get started. There's a lot of action happening. There's a great huge beginning happening for everybody. You have to take that leap into the unknown. You, sometimes you have to get off that straight path and go for the, the wobbly path to the unknown because sometimes there's an opportunity or something that you've always wanted waiting for you on the other side so your reading is telling you to just go for it whatever is coming into your life go for it and take that opportunity and take that leap into the unknown don't get too disillusioned you know you have to separate fantasy from your dream it's good to have a dream. I believe in following my dreams, but sometimes in life, Pisces, are, we take dreaming a little too far and we kind of fall into the pit of fantasy. And it never goes anywhere from there, if you know what I'm talking about. You may have a choice to make, which is good. There may be an opportunity where you may have a choice to make. Should I take this job or should I take that job? How wonderful is that? Or should I go with this person or should I go with this person or should I go down this path or should I go down that path? That's very promising, but there may have to be a choice made. Your emotional life's really going to pick up Pisces. There's something going on emotionally where you're going to meet somebody and it's going to be out of the blue, but it's going to happen soon. So there's any Pisceans out there that are single who happen to meet somebody in the next seven days, I would love to know. So leave me your comments and your opinions below and let me know what's going on for Pisces this week. It is a new moon in Gemini, which is very exciting. And I will be back in seven days to post for the following week. So Pisces, please let me know what happens for you. And I'll see you next week. Bye, Pisces.